Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your December um, 8th through 14th general love read. I'm going to pull um, a couple oracle cards too. If you don't want to um, listen to the oracle, just jump forward to the tarot. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Also, leave comments down below if the messages resonate. I'd love to hear about it. If they don't, check your other placements or check my sister's channel, Madison Intuitive Tarot. I'll leave the link down below um, and pin to the comment section where you can also find the link to the extended where I'll dive deeper into your person and anything else that um, universe wants you to know about your person and where you'll find my website where I am booking personal readings. Alrighty, what is the highest message for my Virgos? What is the highest message for my Virgos? Rest and rejuvenate. And we have rejoice and celebration. I like it. I like it. Let's keep it at that. Move these over here. And I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to get one Alice card today. Rest and rejuvenate. Yeah, taking some time out. You've been working a lot. And it's time to like just enjoy the holidays. If you do celebrate the holidays coming up. And being around good friends. Being around good friends. 43 is the number I see here. It'll be April 3rd. Or March 4th, so Pisces, Aries, maybe three days and four days. Let's see what message that Alice has for you. We have choices, feeling blocked and restrained. Maybe that's why you need some rest and rejuvenate. Maybe that's why you're being asked to kind of go within and check yourself and see what's going on and see if, um, if you're making the right choices for yourself. Maybe you're you're feeling like you can't make a choice. And I'm getting this kind of for a relationship. Like you feel stuck and restrained because you're feeling like your person is not opening up to you, not in allowing communication. So somebody could be blocked here. Um, I have six here too as well. So it could be June 4th, Gemini, June 3rd, um, March 6th, April 6th. Okay, it could be numbers. Um, but definitely... You're feeling stuck here and it's really stressing you out. I think you really, really want this to work out. I think you really want a reconciliation. Um, you want to see your person. You just feel like they're not putting enough effort in for you. And I think you're just sitting there and it's worrying you. I don't think you're doing anything. Um, you're not trying to provoke it or push at it. I think you're just waiting. And I think it's weighing on you. I get this feeling of just, it's exhausting. Which is why you're being asked to just kind of rest and rejuvenate. Come back, bring it back in. Bring the energy back to you. Um, do some things that um, will make you happy while you're waiting. If you're in a separation period from your person, you know, try focusing on keeping yourself healthy at the time. And don't let the worry of the weight weigh you down if you're not sure when this person's coming back. Um, and you know, it could be, either, energies can go either way. You know, you could also be feeling stuck in a situation, stuck in a relationship, um, that you don't want to be in as well. Okay. But we're going to take this a little further and we're going to see where tarot goes. And I'm going to see, I'm going to get one love oracle card. Feeling blocked. You deserve love, okay? So that kind of goes with the whole, um, you're feeling blocked right now and you're feeling stuck. You don't, you, your person's not allowing you to do anything. You want it to move forward, but you can't because you have to honor your person's um, will, you know? And so focusing on yourself and knowing that you are lovable, if you d are, don't want to move on yet, um, Universe is kind of saying, you deserve more. So if your person that you're thinking about right now just doesn't want to be in a commitment or be together, don't let this hold you back. Go out there and just have, you know, celebrate, explore, you know, and I mean, hopefully this person will come back around if, if you guys are meant to be together. But don't forget that you are lovable and you may be, maybe you're not, maybe this has been a long-term relationship and you just broke up and you're just, you don't know how to, you're still grieving and you don't know how to 
um, move forward so you feel blocked that way too. Um, let's take a look at Tara and see what stories come up. I see somebody is kind of, you know, pretty depressed here. Show me Virgo's person, please. Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo's... What's going on in Virgo's love life? That's what I want. Give me another shuffle. What is going on in Virgo's love life? It does show that there could possibly be a reconciliation here. So, And I just saw the emperor at the bottom there. So somebody coming back to maybe make peace with you. I have the lover's card here as well too. So there could be a choice being made. Could be communication coming in. Could be connecting with the Gemini, okay? But that is the lo um, lovers. And here's the four swords in reverse. So an end into being blocked, okay? An end into um, the four swords in, is communication coming in. So the four swords is somebody who takes the breast and rejuvenates, takes time out, blah, blah, blah. That, you know, usually is blocking somebody, not communicating. So here's clear communication. Somebody's making the choice to come forward. And... It's somebody you have a lot of feelings for, somebody you've been romantically involved with. Um, but somebody is making a choice here to unblock or move forward. All right, so that's a good start, guys. All right, I have the Page of Cups here. I have too many crystals here. I love my crystals, but I think I need more room. We have the Page of Cups. Flirt in. We have the Devil in Reverse releasing something. The Seven of Swords, some sort of deception. Looks like you were flirting with somebody in the past who may have been deceiving you, lying, stealing from you, taking from you, stealing from your heart. It's another corny way to put that, but it looks like you may have released this person in the past. Um, they could have um, broke your heart. You know, definitely broke your heart in the past here. That's what I'm getting. They took more than they were, they, they were given, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles. You are, we have the Hierophant in reverse right here in the mutual here. So releasing a non-commitment and we have the page of wands. Sort of this player person over here. This is the way it's wanting to come up for me. So this looks like you over here um, and your person over here. And this is the mutual energies. Like some, there's a, been a, broke, a, um, a broken commitment here. Somebody wasn't honest. There definitely was a lesson, a karmic lesson here. And somebody was acting reckless, very, very reckless. And we have the hermit mode on your side. We have the king of wands here, mutual energy. So there's definitely a lot of passion and attraction and action here being taken here in the future towards you. And we have the five of pentacles. This person over here broke your heart and made you feel rejected. They rejected you in the past. Okay. So there was definitely a breakup here in the past. You had a lot of love for this person. You 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 trusted them. You opened up. You gave your heart. You were flirting with them. Um, it looks like you trusted them. Um, you know, here you are as the Queen of Pentacles, very loving, nurturing. You know, kind of a healer, very independent, solid. Um, more of like a long term type relationship. And then you have the Hermit card. It's like you went into loneliness mode you went into single mode here all right you 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 wanted to give your heart to somebody but it looks like you gave your heart to the wrong person and this person really really just stole from you stole from you um you know metaphorically stole your heart you know they played around page of wands in reverse they're very reckless with their behavior very in and out uh, maybe playing around um, they definitely were playing around with, uh, tell, you know, with a commitment here. They may have been acting like they wanted a commitment, they not wanted a commitment. They were lying to you about wanting a commitment. And so this may have went on a couple times to the point where you just felt rejected. They rejected your offer of a long-term relationship. They were just, they, they were just playing with you, playing with your heart. Okay. Um, so here we have you as the hermit mode. You're very lonely. And this is that, you know, the choices, feeling blocked, feeling restrained. Like you almost don't want to be in this position, but you're also, you know, 
very passionate about this person and you can't, you're not ready to move on. You want to take action um, to this person, but I think you think they're going to reject you again. You're not, you want to make another move. You want to reach out, but I think you fear them rejecting you again. You fear them rejecting you again, but your overall energy is um, communication with this lover who will release that block. They'll no longer block you. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to mean like seriously blocked from like everything, you know, it just can mean that they're just not talking as much as you want them to. They're not, they're not here. They're not showing up as being here. They're showing up as being gone right at the moment. They've left you. Okay. And... I think you're you're contemplating whether or not you want to reach out to this person again because they did not show up for you at all. And in, in this reading, they're not showing up for you at all. But I want what else do we have here? The Empress, Taurus card. You know, it's uh, unconditional love. It's a birth, a rebirth of this situation. The situation's not over. The situation is definitely not over. You're going to nurture this situation. You want to nurture this situation again. I don't think you're ready to give up on this situation. Even though there's been no proof in the past that this relationship has gone anywhere. I think you're willing to try again. I think you just still feel as though there's a possibility. It's like you're waiting. Um... You think that you still have a lot of hope that this person's going to come around. They're going to turn turn everything around and and they're going to finally show up for you the way you they want you want them to. Like the six of pentacles, equal give and take. I think you're hoping and, and and praying upon that. But then here's the knight of cups in reverse. You know, it's just more player energy, emotionally unstable. You know, player come in with their heart on their sleeve. They get what they want, and then you know they're they're in love with love, and then they leave. They leave you feeling you never feel fulfilled. So you feel you even if you get what you want when this person comes in, even if they come back and you get what you want, you always feel bad the next day because you never did get what you want. They left taking more than they gave, and they they don't. They, they're not emotionally attached. They play, they're, they're passionate towards you. It's, a, it's apparent that you, the mutual energy here is, you know, this. They, they like the passion. They desire you. They're attracted to you. They always will make the move to come in and, and you know, physically connect with you. But they have no desire for a commitment here. And um, the devil's in reverse here. Um, a release like they don't even want a want they do not want a committed relationship and you have let go of them in the past but you have not mentally completely let go of them you see this still you still have faith that this is going to go somewhere and i believe they are going to come back i want to get we have the rejuvenate, I mean, the rejoicing celebration here, which could also mean third party too, but it could also, uh, in, this, in this case, because I get the four swords, there's definitely going to be communication here. You will communicate with this person again, okay? You will communicate with this person. Let me get a couple more cards. You will communicate with this person. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the four swords and the lovers. Why is this the outcome? Why is this the overall energy? All right. We have two of wands because they're they're at a standpoint. They're they're the two of wands here is clarifying the four of swords in reverse and the lovers because they're they're going to initiate contact. There's no doubt about it. They're trying to make a decision. Um, they may pass this by though there's a possibility that they're they're hesitant because they still may not want this this commitment the way you do let's get one more the nine of wands and like they're done in reverse they're they're not they don't want to give this another chance so they're hesitating they almost don't know i don't know if this person wants to come back in again they will contact you there will be contact whether you initiated or they initiated 
but there's a hesitancy to initiate actual physical contact because I think they're completely done with this situation. Um, maybe they're done with the head games that go back and forth um, because in order for them to get what they want from you, they play the emotional card, they play your heart, your page of, you know, they flirt with you and they open their heart they want, but you, they, but they end up leaving and taking more than they give. And they're very deceitful and dishonest with you. And it's a complete karmic lesson over and over and over. There is physical sexual attraction here. There is, they do not want to commit to a long-term relationship, but you're going to can continue the read is shown. You're going to continue nurturing this because you think that eventually you will get them to commit. And that's, this is clear as it's coming in. It's showing that your person um, will, there will be communication between the two of you, but they're still at a standstill about making, initiating contact because they're not sure if they want to, they want to go around this again. They don't, they don't know if they want to, um, to go through the process again. It's like you guys are going to go in, in another circle. All right. If you want to, um, I'm going to leave it there. If you want to go into the extended, I'll take a further look at your person, see what's going on in, around them, what they're truly thinking and feeling and any other intentions and how this may evolve into the future. But from this point right now, you will receive communication, but the, it's not looking as though they want a commitment. They're not trying to commit. They may just be coming in for another fling. Okay. Another, um, get together another whatever you want to call it okay um one night stand play i don't know whatever you <laughs> Alrighty. i know this wasn't the best reading um you but you have you have this beautiful energy of the queen of pentacles and the empress very healing energy it's like you're very empathic whoever this is you're very sensitive um you're very grounded and earthy and it's and very loving and nurturing and you're finding yourself in a cycle a continued cycle with somebody who enjoys those qualities about you when they're with you but they want they they do not want a long-term commitment and they just want they want their cake and eat it too i guess is another way but you deserve love okay and you may be making these choices you may be at the point where you're feeling despaired and very depressed over this but hopefully you're this may be your last time your last go at this all right um hopefully these messages resonate please leave comments down below and let me know how um how it goes if this is your story um i love you guys take care check out the extended if you want to go further into your person love you guys